Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. I hope you're all doing well and are keeping safe. Today's video, we are going to be testing out three different faux freckle hacks. Now, I am not gonna lie to you guys, I'm gonna be completely real with you. This video is solely inspired by the Snapchat filter with the freckles on it. I'd love to lie to you and tell you that it's not, but it really, really is. Like, I'm absolutely obsessed with the way that they look. I think they're so unbelievably cute. I'm dying to have them. So I scoured the internet and I found three different hacks that we're going to be trying today. Two of these you could probably do with what you currently have in your makeup drawer. However, I did actually have to order one of these things, which is why in about 20 seconds you'll see that this video was filmed over a couple of days obviously given the current situation in the world the post is a little bit all over the place if you have not already please make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this if there are any videos that you would like me to make let me know in the comments down below and without further ado three different hacks to get fake ass freckles. So the first hack I have to show to you today came from nowhere other than TikTok. I know I never thought those words would ever come out of my mouth either, but I downloaded TikTok unironically the other day and now I'm completely hooked by it. Like I will sit up till no joke 2.30 a.m. every single night and watch TikToks because I'm absolutely obsessed at this point. But one of the first videos that I saw when I got the app on my For You page was this particular hack. And it's so annoying because I can't find the original video anymore. This hack, is absolutely genius. Like, I don't know why this isn't more of a known thing, unless it is and I'm just really out of touch with everything at the minute, very highly likely. But what you're gonna need for this is your favorite fake tan. This is the one that I'm currently using. This is the Mind Tan in Dark Ash. If you have not seen the review that I've done recently, I will link it above for you, but you're gonna need some fake tan. You're also gonna need a stippling brush. This coincidentally is the exact same one that she used in her video. This is the Real Techniques stippling brush. And then you're also gonna need like a plastic kind of surface. This is a ID card cover. You need something like this rather than a tanning mitt to actually apply the fake tan to because it's not gonna soak it up. This hack in particular, I am the most worried about doing because it's the most permanent out of all of them, but we're just gonna go with it because no one's gonna see me for the next couple of weeks anyway. So first of all, you're gonna shake up your fake tan. He's um, had a bit of a leakage. Squirt a decent amount on there. So in the video, she kind of like taps the brush into the fake tan and then uses the extra sides to get the excess off. Here we go, I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see a bit better. Hmm, I mean, it kind of worked. I'm gonna use a bit more because I want my freckles to be a bit more in your face. So this is what my skin looks like without the freckles and that's what it's looking like with. I think to make it look a bit more natural, I'm just gonna bring it down a bit. But I mean, it is working. Now just going in on the other side. I mean, it's working. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit because I think it's super cute when freckles kind of like come up. Hmm. What are we thinking? Okay, let's zoom you out. So yeah, looking at my skin now, initially it's a lot more subtle than I thought it was gonna be. However, fake tan, obviously if you use it a lot, you'll know it takes a little while to develop. This one in particular that I'm using is a one hour express tan, so it could develop more within the next hour or so. But I mean, it doesn't look terrible. Honestly, I thought it was gonna go a lot worse than it did because it's me and that always happens. I think it would be a little bit more noticeable if you were somebody that had clearer skin on your cheeks. Obviously, I am not the perfect candidate for that because my actual skin is a little bit wild at the minute. <laughs> Looking at my skin in the mirror, my freckles are already starting to develop, which is nice. I'm hoping that they get a little bit darker. I'm gonna check in with you in the next like hour or so and just let you know whether or not this was a fake tan win or a fake tan fail. So I'm back now, it's a couple of hours later and I'm having a look at my skin. My freckles don't look too dark or anything. They kind of look really not that much different from when I first applied it but I like the effect that it gives I think it probably would be a lot more prominent on somebody that had clearer skin than I do I would prefer them to be maybe a bit darker if I'm honest so I might try it with a darker tan but this method wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be if this is something you're looking to try like I said maybe try it whilst we're in lockdown because if it somehow did go wrong nobody would see you so the next hack we're gonna try is drawing on our freckles with pomade. So I have here today the Maybelline Tattoo Brow in 04 Ash Brown. This isn't the one that I'd normally use to fill in my brows. I would usually use the Dark Ash 
Anastasia dip brow to fill them in, but I figured that would be a little bit too dark for freckles. And I also have a really old Demons lip liner brush as well. I've put a bit of gel on the tip of the bristles just to kind of help firm them up a bit because once you press the bristles against your skin, they're more likely to go like this rather than stay at a point and I want my freckles to be as precise and as small as possible. So as you can see, this is what my skin is looking like at the moment with my makeup on. It kind of just looks a bit flat to me, like it doesn't look like real skin. I'm just gonna go in now, dip the bristle into the end of the oh, pomade. Hmm. So I tried to do it as randomly as possible and I don't think it went as well as I thought it was going to. Let's just do a quick zoom in. So I think... I <laughs> Oh, it doesn't look good at all. So this is what they're looking like at the minute. I'm trying to kind of like pat them out a bit, but it does not seem to be working. Like I've never had real freckles before, so I don't even know the correlation of how they would go. This is my left hand side of my face and this is my right hand side. Mm, this one definitely doesn't know what's going on. Let's try again on this side and see if I can not pick it up. I tried to take a different approach on this side by just going for it and not thinking about it too much and I also think that didn't work either. Just looking at my face in the mirror, I don't know why but it's really giving me Rosie and Jim vibes if you haven't seen that children's program because you're maybe like not in the same era as me. I'll throw up a picture on the screen of what Rosie looks like and then you can compare how much she looks like me. As a hack I feel like this would work if maybe you persevered and tried it over and over again. Maybe different intensities of freckle also better technique maybe. May have to watch a couple of YouTube tutorials myself on how to do it. I just kind of winged it as you probably guessed. So for me I would say that this method is probably a fail however it might not be a fail if done properly. Now before we jump into trying the next hack I just wanted to say something real quick. So a couple of weeks ago I was watching one of Sophie Floyd's get ready with me videos where she pulled out this product and was like right now I'm gonna draw on my fake freckles with this and I don't know what it is about influencers man they just make me buy stuff all the damn time. So naturally, after I watched this video, I ended up ordering this thing straight away. This product is called Freck. I bought it from Beauty Bay. It retailed for £17, which I thought at the time was a bit steep, but it is quite a niche product, so I didn't think too much into it. But my Beauty Bay parcel arrived today. This is what it looks like. It's fucking tiny. It's literally smaller than my pinky finger. Like... The heck, I'm s when I open this, <laughs> it's not funny, but it is like <laughs> I was so mad. I was so mad. <laughs> like, I wasn't expecting it to be the same size as like an eyeliner. <laughs> an eyeliner, I don't know why I'm laughing so much. It just, it, I, if you don't laugh, you cry. I wasn't expecting it to be huge, but I was. <laughs> I just, I just needed to say that. So anyway, this is what the packaging looks like up close. It's really cute, all jokes aside. I'm just gonna try and crack into this, but it's so fucking tiny. I don't know whether my nails will be able to get in. Cute, there's a little smiley face on the inside of the box. That doesn't make up for the 17 pound that I spent on it though. <sighs> that was really shady. <laughs> Look at that, teeny tiny. It literally looks exactly like how an eyeliner would. So I'm just gonna go in on one half of my face and tap on some freckles and then blend them out and then I'll get in a little bit closer so you can kind of see a bit more. Right, now I know what the product is like. I'm gonna zoom you in and then try it again on the other side before I say anything else. brought it up a bit, like how I was saying the other day. I literally look like I've got some kind of disease or something. I think this is something you need to like try a couple of times before you get it completely right because 
placement wise i i don't think i did it good the good thing about it though is with the excess product before it dries down you can kind of tap to like blend and use the excess to do a couple more and just kind of make it look a little bit more natural in summary out of all of the hacks that i tried today i would definitely say that my favorite was actually the fake tan freckles because it was a lot more natural for me it was a lot less effort because i didn't have to think about placement i just kind of like stamped it on and it was fine i don't know how using that method work over foundation but I'm just gonna keep trying this like faux freckle thing and see how it goes. <laughs> oh, what is this video? Anyway, if you enjoyed it, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you've got any tips that you would like to share with me about maybe doing my freckles slightly better, let me know in the comments down below. I'd be very eternally grateful. I will leave links to everything product wise that I have shown you in this video. If you haven't already, please make sure you go over and subscribe to my channel as well as follow me on Instagram. Thank you again so much for spending your time with me this week. I hope you have a super lush rest of your day and I will see you again next time for another video. Bye.